Hi guys, today I want to talk you through two processes which are important on the coastline and they are weathering and erosion and I'm just going to go through the difference between the two and we can have a little look at how each forms. So first of all we've got weathering. Now weathering means that rocks are weakened, okay? So rocks are weakened, made weaker so that the erosional processes can act on them much uh, quicker and easier. So we have three different types of weathering. We have biological weathering, which means bio means living. So anything like plant roots, plants, animals, um, that kind of thing. So anything that breaks down the rock, plant roots going through a rock is a really good example of this. And it weakens the rock and makes it easier for that rock to be eroded. So that is biological weathering. The second type is chemical weathering. Now, chemical weathering happens when we have a rock that will be able to have a, uh, a reaction, a chemical reaction. So here, the good example of this is limestone. Now, limestone will react with slightly acidic rainwater and it will start to dissolve. So that is chemical weathering and that will weaken the rock and make it much easier for erosion to happen. And finally, we have physical weathering. Now, physical weathering in the UK anyway, things like freeze thaw. So any cracks or joints in the rock when it rains or when the sea gets into it, that will put water in those cracks. And then overnight or in the winter, whatever, those um, cracks will um, freeze. The water will freeze in those joints or cracks and the water will expand by about 9%. So that breaks open uh, that gap. When the water then, uh, the ice uh, melts, it will run out, but it will leave a bigger gap. So the next time any water gets into it, that will then freeze and expand by 9%. And over time, that will uh, make that gap bigger and bigger. And again, it will break down the rock and make it much, much easier for erosion to happen. So that is weathering. Now, it's important you don't get these mixed up because in the exam, weathering does not mean erosion. It means weakening and erosion means removal. So the different types of erosion that we've got, you've probably seen this before at the beginning of this topic, but these are ways that rock is removed or material is removed from the coastline in this instance. So the first one we're going to look at is abrasion. And abrasion means that the cliff face is um, worn away. So if you imagine that rocks are being thrown against the cliff in the waves, then those rocks will scour the cliff face and they will take away more and more of the rock. And this will happen normally at the base of the cliff where the, where the waves are hitting. And then over time, anything above it, the overhang will, will fall down eventually. So that is abrasion. So that is caused by particles, tiny particles in the water being thrown against the rock face. The next um, process is hydraulic action. Now that happens at the coastline because any gaps in the rock, any little cracks or fissures or joints are filled with air. And when the water gets thrown against the coastline by the waves, then that water gets pushed into those gaps as well. And that pushes the air further in. So the hydraulic action again breaks down um, the, the rock face and it can be uh, removed. And finally, when those bit, big or small bits of material are put into the sea, whether that's by a rock slide or a rock fall or whatever, then those larger pieces of rock will get moved about by the waves. As the waves come in, they'll be moved about backwards and forwards. They'll hit against each other. And attrition means that bigger rocks and bigger particles are broken into smaller pieces. Now, when those particles become small enough, they will then be taken by the waves and thrown against the rock face. So this is kind of a little bit of a cycle, I suppose. So these, these attrition, these bits that have been um, affected by attrition will get then light enough to be thrown against the cliff face um, by the waves and will get more uh, abrasion happening. So that's weathering and erosion.